Chapter 1 Basic Concepts and Materials Introductions Pre-stressing is a process of preloading a structure before the applications of the service load in order to improve the performance of the structure. You know that concrete is good in compressions but weak in tension. The idea of pre-stressing the concrete is to apply the compressive load before the service load is being applied in order to reduce or eliminate the tensile stress that occur due to the service load. These tensile stress are normally in the form of the flexural response of the structural element. Regarding the tensile stress, the pre-stressing concrete may not necessarily totally eliminate all the tensile stress in the concrete. It can be done in the manner that to reduce the tensile stress so that the stress is at the acceptable level to prevent the concrete to fail. Under some circumstances, Tensile stress in concrete and sun limited cracking is permitted. With adequate amount of compressive stress, the number and the width of the crack can be limited to a desired degree in order to prevent the member to fail. In terms of the deflections, the pre-stressing members can help to control the deflections. The beam may even be designed to have zero deflections at the specific combinations of the pre-stress and the external loading. These are the fundamental principles of the pre-stress. We can say that pre-stressing is a method that pre-compressing the concrete. Then, why do we need to pre-compress the concrete? It is because concrete is strong in compressions but weak in tension. The tension capacity of the concrete is about one-tenth of the compressive capacity of the concrete. That means, if we can maintain the entire structural element in compressions, we have a bigger range of stress allowed within the member, so that the member does not fail. The next question is, where to pre-compress the concrete? This has to go back to the fundamental principles of pre-stressing concrete. The objective is to reduce or to eliminate the tensile stress. Therefore, when we pre-compress the concrete, we are looking into the region where tensile stress will happen under the working load, which is the service load. We ensure this region does not undergo or have limited tensile stress generated in the member. Through this, we can ensure the member does not fail. Next, how pre-compressing concrete can be achieved. There are two ways to achieve that. The first one is pre-tensioning and the second one is post-tensioning. This will be discussed in detail later.